Hey guys, what we have right here is the standard manufacturing 1911 A1 in all high gloss blued here. There is no mem, there is no cast. This is the government model, obviously, sporting lock grips here. The blue black grips so if you like that color on there well these are called what bogies yeah those are the bogey texture so you got the bogies and then you got this like fire blue all the screws and the small bits and pieces let me turn it around here fire blued here yep and yep. larger safety here it's like a gas pedal dude yeah i have another gun that has this is it is it the uh 10 mil the kenai yeah yeah 10 millimeter less bare uh kenai has that same large safety so it's great when you're using the pistol and you have it out and you're using it at the range or, or whatnot. The hard part about this is dealing with it when you're like carrying it as an EDC. Because this thing right here will rub up against your body constantly if it's not pointed outboard. So if you're a lefty, I guess it might work. Um, or if you don't carry a traditional style. But it, it is nice and large and easy to hit. So we have not fired any rounds through this yet. We're going to be testing it with Remington High Terminal Performance 45 ACP hollow point right here. Also Remington Bonded uh, 45 ACP 185 grain on this, 230 grain on that. So two different types of uh, hollow points. And then this over here is also a basic model hollow point from Remington 45 ACP. 230 grain so you got different grainage you've got different hollow points and regular uh, full metal jacket we're going to be testing in this standard manufacturing 1911 it is like a high gloss blue it's almost like the spardella 1911 custom that i own that's what it reminds me of yeah. so what do we have for sights here just regular white contrast sights yep yeah, novak style we've got uh pretty good serrations here they're not um tough on your skin at all so you've got front and rear serrations there to grab and rack the action on this very smooth 1911 that has not even been fired yet. So that's really, really cool. The front strap serrations are done. The back strap is done also. Very nice fitted beaver tail right here, though it does not take a whole, or it does, it takes almost the whole thing to go in here to activate the trigger yeah so that's not been sensitized by a master gun yeah. but the thing about these guns you guys is this is a production gun but it is the highest end on the production gun like a dan wesson yeah this is dan wesson quality right. but for like six hundred dollars less yeah those dan wessons are not cheap anymore and they've gotten more expensive yeah as time has gone by so you're exactly right i would compare this to a dan wesson i think its quality is up there at the top on the production end so let's see how it shoots if it shoots flawless guys then i think it seriously has to be considered because it does sell for about 500 bucks less yeah. than a dan wesson which puts it you know thousand dollar or two thousand dollar less than a custom 1911. so this 1911 has a way better trigger fitment compared to our previous standard that we uh, reviewed which was the color case the color yeah. case engraved. So yeah. this is a really good fitment on the trigger. It is. The uh, safety is also extremely tight and positive. Very little movement until you hit the wall there and then squeeze about four and a half pounds yeah, and it bad. breaks. So, and again, this has not been fired by us yet. So yeah. maybe a couple rounds through at the factory, but other than that, nothing. So yes, the trigger is fit fantastic. Back and forth, side to side, everything. It's okay. really well fit. Um, the How's thing the safety on it? Is it? It's good. It's Positive. really it's really good. Good, good. I mean, it shows a tiny bit of the hole, but lots of 1911s have that. Even your top of the line custom sometimes will show a little tiny bit of the hole right there. Yeah. But as far as fitment and how tight it is and how much noise it makes, it's fantastic, man. Slide a frame? Uh, tiny bit of movement. You might be able to hear this. Listen. So like a Dan Watson. That's yeah. what you should expect. Yep. Just like a Dan Watson. And it's been fully blended. It looks like the slide no frame movement, in the back. No movement at all in the barrel. So that's good. Yeah. No movement there. Front end looks very well put together. Very nice. So yeah, man. How's it blended in the back? Almost perfect. Okay, hold it right there. Can you see that? Yeah, it looks really good. Yep. Yeah. Really well put together 1911, you guys, and for a really amazing price. Yeah. They are only asking for, as in standard manufacturing on their website, about $1,250 for yeah. this pistol. And that's what puts it at, you know, a $500 advantage over most Dan Wessons. So, yeah. 
again it's probably bang for the buck as long as it runs a hundred percent right because that's where my cutoff is and most of you guys are like me no matter how nice looking and expensive the 1911 is if it gives you problems within the first you know 300 rounds i think that's an issue you know and how good is the uh is the warranty department how good are they at working on their guns i'm not sure but coming out looking like this i gotta tell you it sure is impressive so all right the standard manufacturing 1911 is up next all right, the standard manufacturing blue 1911 with a Wilson Combat 10 round mag. Remington, 230 grain. FMJs. Nice. Another mag, an ETM from Wilson. Single hand. One thing I will say is check this out. Check out the reset on the trigger. Okay, ready? See what I mean? It's just very light. Doesn't have the springiness that I'm used to on like a Les Bear or even an ACW. Trigger, just gotta let up on it off of it because look at this thing again. It's just very lackluster. That's the only thing I could say that I don't like about it thus far. The ejector's uh, kicking the cases way out there. There we go. So we shot all the ball just fine. Now let's try the Remington. High terminal performance ammunition. So some Remington 230 grain hollow point ammunition. I'm terrible at controlling recoil offhand <laughs> with two hands on the gun. And then this is the Remington Golden Saber bonded 230 grain. Or was it 185? Uh, I don't remember. Anyway. Hundred percent reliable, dude. Yeah, and you shoot it very well. Yeah. You may not have liked the trigger reset, but you shot it well. The ejected brass casings are going about twenty yards away. For the money you pay, I mean, it's really hard to beat. You're paying Sig nineteen eleven money, basically. Yeah. All right, guys. The standard manufacturing in blued a beautiful nineteen eleven, no doubt. And we've got one of the never unarmed magazines right here. So we like to try it with several different magazines, different types of ammo maybe from the same manufacturer because we're sponsored by Remington as far as ammo, but 185 grain, 230 grain, hollow points of different type. definitely see what you're saying and it was kind of getting my attention by the way the trigger was resetting so I'm going to try to ignore that a little bit and just uh, try to enjoy the pistol here it's a freaking tack drive it just wants to shoot and shoot and shoot so you can kind of uh, get used to that trigger reset a little bit and uh, it not to be an issue. This is a Wilson Combat magazine right here. Left-handed. I have noticed that it doesn't bother me as much left-handed because my trigger finger isn't quite as skilled so, so I'm not picking it up as much so I'm I believe that's completely normal one more magazine 
Let's go right-handed. Most important though, guys, running 100%, looks fantastic and very, very well made and built out of quality parts. So that's it on this one, guys. Thanks for watching the standard manufacturing range review. This 1911 performed flawlessly and that's very, very important. Yep. The trigger, we would have probably worked on just a tad bit, but other than that, the pistol was fantastic. Thanks for watching the review, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA and CZ 9mm USA for more guns and reviews coming your way in the future. We'll see you guys on the next video.